Congratulations Maddie and Sam on almost being married. I'm so excited and so thankful that I get to be able to witness you guys and be a part of your special day. And both of you are just incredible people as individuals and as a couple. And so I can't wait to see what God has in store for you in your next season as a married couple. A piece of advice, uh, as someone who's single and has never been married, I feel like it's so hard to come up with some advice. So I actually called my mom and she said that in her marriage with my dad it's important to treasure each other as husband and wife and so um, by doing that um, it's important to unconditionally and sacrificially love each other even in the hardest moments and to be able to openly communicate with each other and just be honest with each other and so yeah that's it my knees are hurting okay bye roses are red violets are blue Here's some unexperienced marriage advice for you. Violets are purple, roses are still red. Better to have two blankets than fight in bed. Sunflowers are gold, roses are also pink. Sam, do your dishes or your marriage will stink. Daffodils are yellow, sunflowers are gold. Pick up your socks if you want your marriage to get old. Roses are red, daffodils are yellow. Maddie, you're a lucky lady and Sam, a lucky fellow. Love you guys. Hi, Sam and Maddie. I'm here to wish you, uh, bring you good wishes for your wedding. And Maddie, I hope that you have a veil that's as stylish as the one I wore 32 years ago. So, my advice is laugh, tease, play, have fun, be silly. Marriage is a beautiful thing, so enjoy it. Keep being best friends. It's not complicated. Don't act on your emotions, but be obedient to the Word of God. Put His Word daily in you and pray together. Love the way that Christ loves you and be the spouse you were created to be. Assume that any slights are unintentional. Look for good in every situation. Always look for the best in each other. Communicate. Nobody can read minds or hearts. And remember this, Sam. If at first you don't succeed, try doing it the way Maddie told you to. All right, guys, have a great wedding. Love you. Hi, Maddie. Mom and I just wanted to wish you and Sam all the best. Although we can't be with you, um, in your honor, we decided to have a little celebration, just the two of us with some cake and flowers. <laughs> uh, we may be missing out on getting together, but what's not missing is the love the two of you share, uh, the love that your families and friends have for you, and of course, God's love. Um, and it is strong. There will be ups and downs for sure, like any marriage. Um, I'm supposed to give you some advice. So I guess my advice is that it doesn't matter who's right. You must always hug and kiss each night. It seems to have worked for me. Um, Maria and Bill are at home at the lake and they, I'm sure they send their best wishes and love to you both. Um, and when I mentioned Bill, I certainly remember when you were a little girl and you'd jump up on Bill's knee and all you'd want to do all the time is do those Uncle Billies. Anyhow, I can't believe that uh, you're getting married because it seems like only yesterday you were jumping on Bill's knee. Anyhow, you're an amazing young lady and you've met Sam, who's a great guy, and we wish you all the best and uh, we raise our glass of ginger ale um, and say cheers for a long and happy life together. Cheers. Love you. <laughs> hey Sam and Maddie, just thought we'd uh, try to provide a little inspiration here for your wedding day. We're praying the Lord shines on you, that it's a fabulous day and a great start to your adventure together. And as we were thinking about advice, I think probably our advice is like, uber simple and it's just to spend focused time together especially pray together pray together out loud there's a special blessing when a husband and wife pray together we love you both love you guys happy wedding hi sam and maddie we love you lots we wish we could see you and we wish you a beautiful wedding and a wonderful life together <laughs> and we can't wait to give you both big hugs Love you lots. Uh, we, we miss you. We, we love you lots. We, 
We wish we could go to the wedding and Marcel's so cute and he bye bye. Goodbye. Bye. Congratulations. Congratulations. Love and congratulations, Sam and Maddie. We're very happy for you and we wish God's blessing on your life. We just give you one piece of advice. Just enjoy each other, have a great time, and especially enjoy your wedding day as the following couple show in this little video. Do take Melissa Renee Warren. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my waf lawfully. <laughs> Hey Sam and Maddie, so our advice to you, and we've already told you this once, but we thought we'd do it in real time with a visual example, is... Get a hot tub. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a hot tub, but something like a hot tub that would allow you to do three things. Three things. So thing number one is that it's a great thing to do when your uh, brain is done at the end of the day and it doesn't involve Netflix or binge watching shows. Number two um, is that there's no distractions. You can't bring a device or a cell phone, no, no notifications. You're just, uh, you literally have nothing else to do except uh, focus on your spouse and have a real conversation about real things. And number three is that you're out in nature. And so you're out in what God has given us and able to enjoy the surroundings as well as spending time with each other. So we hope your marriage is filled with real connections with each other and real connections with the Lord. Uh, and a hot tub is not a bad way to get there. We love you guys. Congratulations. 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 We can't believe the day is so fast approaching and we really wish we could be there and celebrate with you all. Um, but we're just so excited for you both. Um, yeah, marriage is wonderful. Good piece of advice is to brush your teeth before you kiss. <laughs> what we actually wanted to say was <laughs> keep Jesus in the middle of your relationship and the rest will fall. We love you tons and big hug. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, Sam and Maddie. So Ken and I have been married for 28 years, so we thought maybe we could give you uh, just a couple of uh, nuggets of, of wisdom to for you. Um, you yeah, to uh, guys, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Okay, that, that wasn't what I was really thinking of. Sam, Maddie, congratulations. Uh, 28 years uh, that Ken and I have been married. Uh, we've gleaned a few things, so we, we wanted to share a couple Remember of things. Remember to change your fire alarm batteries every spring and fall. Yeah. Okay. Um, we've been married for 28 years. And uh, so we uh, wanted to share a little bit of wisdom with you today. Remember to look both ways before you cross the street. <laughs> Not I. Sam, Maddie. Hey, guys. Uh, we wanted to just share a few points with you today. Be a rainbow in somebody's cloud. Okay, Sam, so Maddie, we've been married for 28 years. Okay, I got one more. Oh, boy. Know when to hold them, know when to fold them. Buy low, sell high. Um, just remember this, guys. Do, Do everything, everything with, with love. love. Congratulations. We're Congratulations, you guys. We love you guys. Congratulations. Hi, Maddie and Sam. Ben and I miss you guys so much, and we are so sad we can't be out east for to enjoy all the festivities with you guys. We thought we had it hard because we had to plan a wedding long distance, but I think you guys take the cake with planning a wedding during a pandemic. I want to share a little piece of advice. Uh, you've probably heard from a lot of people that the first year of marriage is always the hardest. And I have to disagree because we found that the first year of our marriage was actually the best. It is so fun, get to know each other, do all these fun activities, continue dating each other, learning about each other, and just enjoy it. It is something you can never get back is that first year of marriage so bask in that glory we miss you so so much and happy wedding
Hey, Sam and Maddie, we're super pumped uh, for you guys that you're going to join in, in marriage and your wedding day is here. Looking forward to see the Lord work in your life. Sliv and I have been married now for 21 years. We're blessed. And uh, we want to share with you some video clips that we've collected over the years from different stages of our marriage and even some ones in the future that we want to pass along to you with some nuggets of truth about marriage and things we've learned along the way. Hey guys, we've almost been married a year now and the lesson I've learned this year is to learn more about each other, have a ton of fun, and engage in friendships around you and just learn a lot about each other. Yo, yo, while you're having lots of fun, make sure you pray together, you grow together, you keep seeking the Lord, uh, dream together, and put uh, God first in everything you do. We've been married a couple years now. These are great years. We've started a family. The Lord chose to bless us with a baby. My advice for you now is still keep growing together, stay in the word, and get sleep when you can. These baby years are so exciting. They're hard, they're tiring, but they're so exciting with the child and it comes an increase in responsibility. Continue to love each other and support each other and put God first in all areas of life. As the kids get older, the days get more full and you find yourself, hey, someone just cut us off. Find yourself on the road, driving the kids all around. The days are full. This stage of life goes really quickly. This is a good time of your marriage to find a passion that you enjoy together, work together, and it's going to help carry you through these years when some people tend to drift apart. These kid years went super fast, and here we are now, empty nesters. The kids all grown up, and we find ourselves still in love with each other. We encourage you guys to continue to love each other in every stage of life. And as the kids grow older, you'll have more time to date more. I hope you mean date each other. These empty nest years are sure different. I've got a lot more time on my hands, taking care of myself a little bit differently now, but I'm able to invest into some families and friends around me. I'm able to get more involved in the church and be able to mentor some of the younger moms. When I look in the mirror, I just can't believe how fast these years have gone. The kids are grown and the grandkids are grown. I think it's worth saying that if you put God first through your whole marriage, you won't look back with any regrets. As I look in the mirror, I think, wow, I look old, but we can reflect back on a life where God has taken care of us and he's blessed us. We've loved God, we've loved our family, and God has been so good to us. Sam and Maddie, we love you guys. We hope that you live a full life serving God and loving people. Lord bless as you uh, begin your life and begin your marriage together. Hi, Maddie. This is a letter for you to my future daughter. Very dear Maddie, just want to tell you that I'm so happy for both of you and that I love you very, very much. I pray that you and Sam will grow together closer to the Lord and that He will bless you immensely. Love you, friends. I have a verse too for you. It's in Colossians chapter 3, verse 12 to 14. Put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness and patience, bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other, as the Lord has forgiven you so you also must forgive. And above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Love you tons.